So this is going to be a quick video on how to use function calls. Uh, essentially, we're going to cover arithmetic expressions uh, as an example of how to call a function. So function calls in Racket, they're delimited by parentheses in a slightly different way than in most programming languages, where most programming languages put the parentheses before the arguments. Uh, in, a, in Racket, you actually surround the function and it, their arguments all with parentheses. And then you separate them by spaces rather than by, uh, say, commas, like you have in, let's say, Java or C. So in a function call, let's say you would like to call a function with two parameters, function called expt for exponent, uh, and then you want to pass two parameters, two and three, you would write it with open parentheses, expt, and then space, two, space, three, close parentheses. So that is one, exactly one function call. You can also have, of course, nested function calls, where, um, so you have the same function call here, and then you're going to pass the return of that to another function call called sin. So in this case, you're calling the sin of 2 to the power of 3, right? So you're going to have sine of um, of 8, right? So 2 to the power of 3 is 8, and then sine of that, you get this crazy number, okay? So let's see how that is run. Um, so I'm going to call this function, code, uh, okay, so it's exactly the code that you see in the, in the slides. So I, I have two function calls. Actually, it's not exactly the same because this should be here. Okay. So I'm going to comment it out just so you see each function. No, actually, no. Why not? So if I call racket, and I call uh, nums func. I see exactly the output. Oops, put this right at the beginning. So I see 8 and 0 0.9, blah, 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 which is the output of this expression. Okay. Um, and there are a few things you can do in Racket. As I told you before, there's no end of line. So you could put this parenthesis here. It would still work. right? And you could even, uh, I don't know if you can put spaces here. Yeah, you can. Uh, maybe let's see if I could put enter here and I could put this here. Yeah, you can also do that. So let's say before, as long as you have some kind of white space here, could be an enter, could be tab, could be an end of line, it's fine. And you don't need white spaces here and you don't exactly need, so if you write it like this, it's still fine. So that, that is equivalent. Uh, and if I do 2 to the power of 1, you get 2. So then this would be just to show you that oops, I did not save. <laughs> just to show you that this works. And if I do 2 to the power of 2, you should get 4. Let's see. Wow, it works. Okay, cool. And I can change, I don't know, the sign table by heart. So if I change sign of 4, you get minus 0 0.75. Okay, so you can see that this is working. More or less, you have a way to call functions inside other functions, which is very handy. Um, so that's how it works. So what about um, what we wanted to do before, like arithmetic expressions? Ah, beauty of racket. So what we can do, let's see if I have an example. I don't know. Let me put it in the same file. So if I want to write an arithmetic expression plus, okay, so the plus the minus, the times, or the multiplication, and the division, which have the usual signs, are actually used in an uncommon way. So in, in C, and in JavaScript, and in Ruby, and in Python, and whatever is your favorite language, probably arithmetic expressions have an infix notation, right? If you want to say, write uh, 2 plus 5, you would write like this like you write in math, right? Uh, but in, in Racket, you would actually write plus 2, 5, okay? And if I wanted to write uh, 2 times 3, actually, I have to write, oops, I have to write times, and you have to use the parentheses, so you cannot omit them. Um, 
And this is how you write it. So let, let's run all this to see if we have all the values. Let's comment out. Uh, no, we can run them there. So you can see 2 plus 5 is 7, 2 times 3 is 6. Um, what happens if I do parentheses here? If I remove the parentheses? Ah, now we go back to the first example. Remember when we had, actually, let's go, let's, let's actually write it like this. So before we had, remember, I had something like this, right? So if I wrote this, you would get, uh, you get 2, right? Where this is just the sign and not the, the function plus. But if I add space, this is actually the function plus. So what I see here, I see procedure. So now we understand a bit better what this means. So procedure is, it's actually printing out this. See? So I have first two, first two, first one, second one. And then what I see is plus. So plus is being printed out. So this is just the function in racket is actually called procedure for historical reasons. Um, and they were saying that this is function plus. Okay. And then you have two. Yes. And then you have five. And then you have five. And if I want to compute all of this, if I want to evaluate it down to a, a, an expression, I put parentheses around this. And now it means call plus and pass it two and five. Okay. If I do that, what happens? Ah, now I have seven. Okay. So this is very important. So when you put parentheses, unlike most programming languages where parentheses are just to help reading the code a bit better, in Racket, they actually have a, a meaning and it just means call a function. So whenever you have parentheses, it means calls a function. And then first thing is the function. And then everything else, everything else that follows means uh, function plus, I mean, it means the arguments, right? So it, in this case, it would be function is addition. And then what are the arguments? Well, it's two and five, right? And actually in Racket, you can, you can add more. So you could do uh, 2 plus 5 plus 4, and as you can see here, it's 11. Uh, and you could even have just a single number. So this is calling function plus and just passing one argument, and the output would just be uh, 2, right? If you have a summation, which is a single value. And if you have 0, how much would that be? Uh, that's, a, that's a good thing for you to think about. Uh, just think of it as the summation value. So what would be the summation with an empty set? Okay, uh, and then here would be the same thing. It's also interesting what would be, what happens when you pass, when you just call a function multiplication, you pass zero values. I will leave that for you to think at home. Um, and that's it. That's basically how we use it. The, the very important part here, again, not subtle at all. <laughs> I'm joking, but parentheses are uh, very important they 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 really make a difference in this programming language so when you put parentheses it means call something it means computation it means execution whereas if you don't put parentheses it just means uh, a value so this is the value the function value which is not being computed and then two this is the number that's being printed as you wrote it in your keyboard right uh, when you put parentheses it means call function plus and pass two to it so in this case, let's just make five. Okay. And I'm going to put everything very pretty so that you have this. And this would be two times three, right? And this would be three point. Right. So what is one nice thing about this notation? Well, the really cool thing about here is that there's no precedence. You always know because you always have to put parentheses everywhere. There's no way to omit them. It's never ambiguous. There's no ordering. You can read it from whatever option you want because you just know that things are being, um, you have the parentheses are always explicit. So in, in otherwise, if you have, there's this classic thing, as you will see, like, uh, one plus three two times four uh, some people get confused whether is this is it like this or not you shouldn't be confused but because there is a convention for that anyways i digress so this is basically what i wanted to tell you about function calls in this course and as you will see in the homework assignment one it will all be around arithmetic expressions at least the first part so hope you had fun